Good day, everyone. You're watching Macro Enterprises. Today, we're going to be discussing on um, expansion joint. So we get to understand the different requirements that we have to put in place when we find an expansion joint in our different buildings. So while carrying out our projects, we should understand that we have requirements as far as the electrical systems are concerned or while we are carrying out electrical works, we have to make sure that we follow the requirements of the expansion joint or when we get to expansion joint, we know exactly how to carry out the electrical installation works. So what is an expansion joint? It's a mid-structure separation designed to relieve stress on building materials caused by building movement. So when we have building moving back and forth during the expansion, this is what this, the definition is trying to or talking about. So it's a mid-structure separation design to relieve stress on building materials caused by building movement. Building movement and expansion joints is primarily induced by thermal expansion and contraction caused by temperature changes. So I'll show us some um, example of expansion joints in building as we can see. This is the expansion joint. Move to the next. This is an expansion joint as well, which is separating the building. And then we have um, electrical requirements for expansion joint when we get to expansion joint where we are carrying our containment works. It could be either galvanized iron, which we are carrying out installation, or PVC conduits, or even uh, containment works such as um, cable trees, cable trunking, cable ladders, and even bus bars. So when we are carrying out this installation, we get to expansion joint, we have to make sure that we provide expansion joint fittings. This is very important. So for GI conduits, PVC conduits, we have to get the expansion joint fittings from the manufacturer itself. As we can see here, there's a cable ladder whereby we have expansion joint couplers which are installed. There's a picture which I took on site on um, this is an expansion joint, and then we have bus bars which are installed. As you can see here, this is an expansion joint coupler which is being installed. So I'll take us now to the code, which is QTS 2014, session 5, part 12. QCS 2014, section 5, part 12, which has to do with expansion joint. So I'll take us to 12.5.4. 12.1.5, which is a definition. So we are going to see what the code says about expansion joint or how they define expansion joint. So we move to the third point, which is expansion joint. So it says a separation between adjoining parts of a concrete structure, which is provided to allow small relative movements, such as those caused by thermal changes to occur independently. So this is what the code tells us. So, but we, we have to understand that when we are carrying our electrical works, mechanical works, or while we are carrying out all that, we have to make sure that we get to expansion joints. We we'll provide expansion joint couplers for the different services that we are carrying out on site. So that if in case there is an expansion in the building whereby the building is um, uh, either extending or retracting, we have to ensure that. The, the, the containment walls that we provided, it can as well move back and forth without having any problem. Till then, you're watching Macobi Enterprises.